the brilliant Tim Vine. Oh. Merry Christmas, everybody. I've just done a bit of last minute shopping and I've got to be honest with you, I'm not sure I got such a good deal on these night vision goggles. <laughs> You know, I love Christmas. I actually live in an advent calendar. Yeah. It's freezing at the moment because all the windows are open. <laughs> you know, someone left a huge pile of plasticine in my dressing room. I don't know what to make of it. <laughs> Do you know, I had a friend who's always taking a mickey at me for having a pay as you go phone. He's always going, You've got a pay as you go phone, you've got a pay as you go phone. So eventually I took out a contract and I had him killed. <laughs> I've got a lot to get through. I said to this bloke, I said, me and some friends have just been talking about you. He said, you disgust me. I said, yes, we did. <laughs> but Christmas is all about family, isn't it? Do you know, I remember the first thing my mum said to me when I was born. She said, ah, I was expecting you. <laughs> and I looked outside the window. I saw, I saw my, my dad slumped over the lawnmower, crying his eyes out. I said, what's up with him? She said, he's just going through a rough patch. <laughs> You see, I've, I've got a chicken-proof lawn. It's impeccable. <laughs> There's only two people clap that one. But anyway, this, this chicken came up to me. He said, he said, I can't find my eggs. I said, you probably mislaid them. <laughs> Still two, but they're moving around the room. <laughs> and then my dad's sister walked into the room, spinning around in circles. I thought, oh, my giddy aunt. <laughs> Burglars are getting very clever now, aren't they? Burglars are getting very clever. I was in bed last night and my, my wife woke me up. She said, darling, wake up. She said, I think there's a burglar downstairs. Can you go and check? So I got out of bed. I went downstairs. I looked in every room and there was nobody there. And then suddenly I remembered, I haven't got a wife. <laughs> and that's all for me. Good night. Thank you, I'd like to start with a, uh, a quick impression. <laughs> That's Santa Claus in his early 20s. <laughs> but I love playing games at Christmas. The other day I ate a chess set. I took it back, it was horrible. I took it back to the shop. I said, That's stalemate. <laughs> he said, Are you sure? I said, Checkmate. <laughs> Blake came up to me, he said, I've just spilt my Scrabble set on the road. I said, What's the word on the street? He said, I can't think of another word for stitch. I said, is that so? <laughs> then he started throwing words at me that began with TH. I managed to dodge this there and then, but I didn't see that coming. <laughs> but you can play great games at Christmas, can't you? Blind man's buff, that's a great game. That's when you find someone who's blind and then you polish them. <laughs> and I've got, a, um, I've got a new job helping out a one-armed typist whenever she wants to do capital letters. It's shift work. <laughs> so, I was working in a health food shop. This bloke walked in, he said, Evening Primrose Oil. I said, Mr. Vine to you. <laughs> he said, Saw your chunks? I said, You shouldn't have been looking. <laughs> This farmer came up to me, he said, I've got 68 sheep, can you round them up for me? I said, sure, 70. <laughs> and... <laughs> I said to this bloke, I said, I just got a job in a windscreen wiper factory. He said, do you enjoy it? I said, mm -hmm. <laughs> Merry Christmas to you all!